Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we're gonna combine two of our favorite things and make a super video. Oh yeah, that's right. We're making Jello creations using a Play-Doh kit. We thought it would be cool to make a cheesy sandwich using Jello, so let's see how it goes. Let's start by getting everything out of this set. So the back of this bread book mold has the cheese stamp. And if we open this up, we can make our bread. Here's our grilled cheese sandwich maker. The top of the grill has toppings we can make. Inside, we can make our grilled cheese. And we can use the bottom to make a waffle. Alright, this should be fun. Let's start by blooming some gelatin. Going to add 4 tablespoons into this bowl. Perfect. Now I'm just gonna mix this up for a minute or so, just until we get a slushy-like texture. There we go. That looks good. Alright, I have a little over a cup of hot water here. I'm gonna add all of this unflavored gelatin. Now I'm just going to mix this up until the gelatin dissolves. If you can't dissolve it in one go, put the measuring cup in the microwave for 30 seconds, and that should do the trick. Perfect. While your liquid is still hot, separate the liquid into three smaller bowls. Now I'm going to start by making some red jello. I'm adding about maybe two tablespoons in here. Give it a mix until the powder dissolves. Now let's make yellow. Now let's make green. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to start by making the toppings that are on this maker. Use the red to make a strip of bacon. By the way, make sure you spray some cooking oil before pouring. And a tomato slice. Whoops, I'll take care of that later. Now I'll use yellow to make a potato chip and some butter. If you have a squeeze bottle, might be easier. Getting pretty messy over here. Now I'll use green to make a pickle. Now I'll use yellow to make this giant slice of cheese. And after that, I'll put all of the molds in the fridge until the jello sets. Maybe about two hours? Okay, let's see how these turned out. If you peel from the edge, they should pop out easily. Awesome! Check this out! Here's a closer look at our red tomato slice. And guess what? It's edible. Alright, here's a closer look at our jello potato chip. For these smaller ones, you can use a toothpick if it doesn't come out. There we go. Here's a jello pickle. Oh, this one looks cool. Here's a closer look at our butter. These look like red lips too, but here's a closer look at our jello bacon strip. Alright, now I'm really excited to see how this one turned out. This feels super gummy. Whoa, this one's super cool. Check out this jello cheese. I really like how this one turned out. Okay, to make the bread, I'm going to use some condensed milk. Mix it up. Also add a small drop of brown food coloring here to make the waffle and pretzel. This one's just gelatin, so there won't be much flavor for this one. Okay, I'm going to pour the gelatin with condensed milk into the bread molds. Now let's pour the brown gelatin into the waffle mold and the pretzel mold. Alright, they've been in the fridge for a few hours. Let's see how they turned out. Here's a closer look at our condensed gummy bread slice. Wow, look at those details. I'm very impressed. Jello and Play-Doh kits, they work really well together. This one's a bit thinner, but still looks just as good. Okay, now let's check out the waffle and pretzel. Oh, I can already tell this one's good. Check it out! This gummy waffle is perfect. Unfortunately, it probably won't taste that good though. Let's check out the pretzel. Woo! Perfection! I love it! Alright, now let's try to make our cheesy jello sandwich. Start by adding one slice of bread. Now let's put our jello cheese on top. Finish it with another gummy bread. Press down. We didn't really get the grill mark, but it sort of sliced it. 
Let's use this knife to completely cut our sandwich in half. Obviously, since this is jello, the cheese isn't oozing out, but it still looks pretty cool. Also, compared to Play Doh, we can actually eat this, which is a plus. What do you think? Like this jello version better, or the Play Doh version? Alright, now let's put everything on a plate. That looks good. Put a couple tomato slices here, and a couple pickles here. And bon appetit! Here's a delicious jello meal. Alright, I've said a couple times now that we can actually eat this, so I'll do a taste test. Not bad. It's like a milky lemon grilled cheese. Obviously, it doesn't taste anything like a real grilled cheese, but it's still pretty good. Okay, now let's try this tomato slice. Ooh, a strawberry flavored tomato. Now that's really good. Okay, now let's try this pickle. Ooh, a lime-flavored pickle. I like this one. Okay, we also made a waffle dish, so let's put that on a the plate. There's the waffle. Now let's add a slice of butter. Let's also add a couple pieces of bacon. And some potato chips. Check it out! Here's our second jello dish. Which dish do you like better? Visually, this one kind of looks better, in my opinion. Okay, now I'll use a fork and a knife to try some of this waffle. Alright, here we go. That does not taste like anything. I need some strawberry bacon. Much better. Now let's try this potato chip. Ooh, a lemon flavored potato chip. Yum. Alright, I have some extra jello ingredients lying around, so let's make another sandwich. Add two pieces of bacon, a slice of cheese, add a couple of pickles, add some tomato slices as well, put the other bread slice on top, and here's a deluxe BLT Jello sandwich. Ooh, look at that! That looks good! I'm gonna take a big bite. Oh yeah, all the flavors together? That's really good! This one might be my favorite Jello combination. Okay, so out of the three, which one was your favorite? Awesomer Pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!